walking the track at Unadilla. Got Caesar here and a new guy. Tell him who you are. Janka from Panama. From Panama, all the way from Panama. Came here. Uh, he's got a quad where at Baldwin. Yeah, Baldwin's gone. He's bringing it down. Baldwin today. Motorsports in Ohio has his quad. Bringing it here. Uh, it's been a while since you've raced here. When's the last time you rode or even raced here? 2016, that would 2016, be. 2016, yeah, three it's years been later. Quite a bit. These guys are friends. Race friends. Yeah, race friends. <laughs> they, they don't hang out. They only hang out at the track. But cool to see you back, dude. Thanks, bro. Appreciate yeah, that. Boom. Mud. Looks like they watered the heck out of this section. There's the step up. Whoops. Track's looking good. Some option lane here that's new. I'm gonna see what this is all about. New speed singles, one here, here. Option lane, it comes this way into it. And I know the step up is different because I've raced here. It's my 14th year racing here. I've done probably hundreds or a thousand or so laps on this track in my life. And I know this used to be more straight and then to more left of a jump up. Now it's like you turn here and you have like pretty much a really good straightaway to hit this straight on now. So it looks really soft like they just did this and a little bit messy. So and they watered it a lot. <laughs> Caesar, are you out of breath? <laughs> no? I thought he was being trained, man. <laughs> you can't even What's this? Is that broken? Whatever. What do we got here? You got a dog. Let me, see. Let me see. It's for the vlog. What's up, Hop? Ooh, look how young. It's my little raccoon mini cow. Looks like a raccoon. Awesome. Cute. <laughs> cute. Water guy. Boom. Looking good. Other section in or other corner of the track. Look at those whoops from here looking pretty good. Uh oh. Gonna get run over. Better move out of the way there. is here far from the watch spot so now I gotta walk a mile all right all right I'm walking out here to watch Caesar he's on a brand new bike so we're just gonna see what um, we're gonna see how he does out here on his new it's a Honda frame with a CRI 450 dirt bike engine so he says he likes it so we'll see Top. Saturday practice, or not Saturday, Friday practice is over. This 
Caesar is here washing his quad. Just got done. I don't know what he's power washing now. But you know what I'm up here for? This. Trailer roof blew off. It's always something. Howdy, partner. Duck team. All right, so it's Friday night, 7.30 right now. Uh, just ate dinner. Just trying to walk the track one more time before the race tomorrow. The weather is so nice out right now. Hoping it stays like this. Unfortunately, it says, hate to say it, but 50% rain tomorrow. Crossing my fingers that it'll hold off. I'm not really sure if it will or won't, but the least I could do is uh, just get up, have a good night's sleep, get up. Be ready for tomorrow, rain or shine, we're here. We got a race. Um, we've had really bad luck with weather all season, but it's not really saying like it's gonna rain all day, so kind of just says scattered thunderstorms. Right now I'm in the pro section. Let me flip this around for you. So normally, can't see that side of this hill, but amateurs will come down this hill where I was videoing today, make the turn and go here while we come over this sick jump right here into this like valley. Sun's coming through, bunch of shade. It's pretty sweet in here actually. And this hole, come back up. I'm standing on the lip right now. Double into there, and then it looks like a couple whoops, and they're actually usually pretty, pretty tricky to get through. And then we join the amateur track, or the rest of the pro track here, whatever you want to call it, into the rest of the section. This probably adds, oh, I don't know, maybe 15 seconds to our lap, but not every track has a pro section. Years ago, a lot of tracks used to have a pro section. Um, it's not anything harder than what's on the track. It's just an added section. I'm not really sure why they add that for us. It's usually supposed to be harder at stuff that amateurs can't do, but honestly, this jump's pretty easy. Um, and I know I'm telling you that, but it's really easy. I would think it's no different than anything else on this track, but Redbud has a pro section, and I know Loretta's used to, but. Oh, and um, Iron Man does too. All right, that way back corner that I was videoing today where the people kind of go missing is here. I'm at a peak point of how far we can go, pretty much to the right. Um, that big step up is over here. Sky shot is there. And the videos from up top really do no justice for how big the hills on this track are. I mean, look at the size of this truck, regular truck, but look at the hill behind it. It's monstrous. All right, finally walking up to the monster. Um, this is sky shot. For any of you that don't know the track here in Unadilla, this jump is super famous. Um, it's about a hundred, about a hundred feet, maybe 100 to 125, depending upon where you land. It's a giant tabletop with a huge face on it. That's literally gotta be when you're standing back there from the turn where it starts all the way up there. When you're standing back there, like it starts to gradually go up the lip all the way. I mean, it's really, really huge. This has gotta be like, 10 or 15 feet tall when you're standing back there of a takeoff, but let me walk up this. All right, here's the top. Might not look far on camera, but man, it's actually pretty far of a jump. I mean, the straightaway is so big. Um, those are regular size 55 gallon drums, just to give you an idea of how big the track looks on camera. The, like I said, the jump's big. It's fourth gear. If it's pretty hard pack, it's about, I don't know, half throttle-ish. If you come up to it wide open and then stay on the gas, it's about half throttle, but it's cool because you got the stands here. Those usually pack up for the pro motos. And then, big giant landing. Here we go. I don't want to say you can kind of land anywhere, but you really have like a 40 to 50 foot, like maybe even 60 foot of where you could land and be like decently safe. Turns there, goes back up the hill, headed towards the finish line. Hold it up. What we got? Stickers. Look at that, Nerf bar stickers this dude's got. You got CST water bottles, they hooked it up, huh? Yeah, this one we dropped. I like it, right here, fist pump. Boom, boom. You carry all this stuff. Here you go. Thanks for coming. Thank you. <laughs>
race day, Caesar. Yeah, going out for practice. Caesar did really well yesterday on his new hybrid. It's a TRX chassis with a CRF 450 dirt bike motor. It's actually pretty sweet, super fast, so he's loving it. Oh, yeah. What we got? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> it's Jim Hardy. Woo! I almost fell. <laughs> Boom. Boom. Leaving Unadilla now. Just got pizza with my family and Caesar. Um, where do I start? So the weekend that, like I was saying earlier, was supposed to rain. Didn't rain this weekend. We got super lucky because even Saturday morning, it was saying that it was going to rain, um, and didn't. I've only haven't had that happen one time where it said it was going to rain and didn't. But hey, I'm not complaining. I felt good all day. Track was super super fast. Um, not complaining, it's my favorite track. Felt good, track was fun. Um, didn't qualify the best. You know, I, I was messing with gearing all day. We changed up some things. Everyone was riding good, I felt good. We were all super close. I qualified sixth. Um, okay, so first moto I got, I took off in like eighth, went right to sixth, so like in a couple of turns. And really stayed there the whole race. I, I put, tried to put a move in on fifth a bunch of times. And we were all right there. The track was super dusty. Like, I was having a really hard time um, seeing. Because once I was, like, catching the guys in front of me, I would, like, reel them in. And then I would literally, like, try to make a move. And the turns were, like, so flat. But they had, like, square edges. And I would literally like go blind. And it's really hard because if you hit a square edge going like 50 miles an hour, you're gonna catch and possibly flip. So I got six that moto, not happy at all. Second moto, about a similar start, but right after gravity cavity, you make come out of that hole. I came into a turn and I drove up on the rider in front of me. It was Sam Rowe, no hurt, no hard feelings. I just, I was coming in hot and I was on the gas and he wasn't coming into it and my bumper drove up onto his rear wheels we got stuck together um i i do a video of that so we got stuck together and what can i say my mistake i should have been uh more cautious um shouldn't uh i should have got on the brakes a little earlier i thought he was going to be going a little faster coming into it but anyway it took me uh probably 10 seconds but it was a long 10 seconds and i started basically in last and had to come through the pack. Sure, I made it to fifth, but not where I wanted to be because I could pass, you know, every one of the, all the guys respectfully that group. But when you get a bad start and you start in last and you start basically 10 seconds down and everyone goes ahead, you're not catching that top group, especially in pro class. So lesson for me, um, my speed was there. My riding felt great. I would honestly just say, Whole shots, whole shots, whole shots, which has been a struggle for me. It was changing a lot of my setup. Even for Caesar, he had great starts this weekend on his hybrid. Um, his starts were there. Really good, but a lot better than mine, so we still should be doing them. But um, if you're any kind of racer, a rider, and you want to get into racing, I'll be the first to tell you, especially as the classes go up, whole shots are 
90, in my opinion, they're like 90% of the race. Because if you can start ahead of the guys, they have to work their way past you, even if you're not as fast as them. And I sure know if I got two good starts this weekend, it'd be a whole different story. But that's my own fault, and I got to, something I got to work on personally. Anyway, on my way to Breezewood now, I have a two day riding school with Joel Hedrick, we're about to teach. It's going to be an awesome time. We've got a bunch of people signed up, so I'm pumped to show you guys that video. Thanks for watching. Oh,